In this question, we're told the curve C is defined by x cubed minus 2x squared y plus 3y squared equals 3. We're asked to find the value of dy by dx at the point minus 2, minus 1. OK, so I'm looking at this implicitly defined function. It is worth noting that this term in the middle, minus 2x squared y, is a product of functions and is going to require the product rule to differentiate it. So if we take u is equal to minus 2x squared and du by dx is equal to then in that case minus 4x and then v will be equal to y and dv by dx will be equal to differentiating y gives us 1 and then multiply that by dy by dx so we just get dy by dx. So it's nice to do this off as an aside before we actually start differentiating this term by term. So now differentiating the x cubed, I get 3x squared. Differentiating minus 2x squared y, I get v du. Think about how the term is going to tidy up first of all. I'm going to have minus 4xy is the most neat and tidy way to write this, although that's written as du dx times v. That doesn't really matter. It's about the order of a nice tidy term, so I get minus 4xy. Cross multiplying to get u dv, I'm going to get minus 2x squared dy by dx. Then differentiate 3y squared, so differentiate that we get 6y, and then remember to multiply that by dy by dx. And finally differentiate 3, we get 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect terms dy by dx on the left hand side and the other terms on the right hand side. So I'm going to do a couple of things in this stage. First of all I'm going to add 4xy to both sides of the equation and I'm going to subtract 3x squared from both sides of the equation. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise the dy by dx out of the terms which contain it. It's going to leave me, leave me with 6y minus 2x squared which is neater than the minus 2x squared plus 6y equal to, I added 4xy to both sides, so I'm going to lead with that, and I subtracted 3x squared from both sides. So now to get dy by dx, I'm going to divide by 6y minus 2x squared. So this leaves me with dy by dx is equal to 4xy minus 3x squared all over 6y minus 2x squared. So now I want to find the value of dy by dx at the point minus 2, minus 1. So what this is telling me is that I'm going to have to substitute in x equals minus 2 and y equals minus 1. So dy by dx will be evaluated as 4 times minus 2 times minus 1 minus 3 lots of minus 2 squared all over 6 times minus 1 minus 2 lots of minus 2 squared. You could type this all into your calculator carefully in one go and evaluate it in one step. So dy by dx and if you were to put that in your calculator and evaluate it in one step you get an answer of 2 sevenths which is a nice neat and tidy answer. So let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. First of all, there's a standalone mark if you've got both the first term and the constant right. So that's B1 standalone mark. There's a standalone mark if we've got the second and third terms, these two terms here, correct. So actually getting the correct use of the product rule. And finally, there's a standalone mark if you've got 6y dy by dx as a third part of your function differentiated. Working through the question, there is then just a standalone mark if you get to the answer dy by dx equals 2 over 7. Okay, well I hope you were able to understand my solution and that you were able to follow how to mark it.